November 1st, 2016, Michael Snyder of the economiccollapseblog.com released an article that says, if Donald Trump wins, he will be 70 years, seven months, and seven days old on his first full day in office. I found that to be pretty interesting. Um, I read the article and I saw how he came to the conclusion. Um, it says that Donald Trump was born on the 14th of June, 1946. If you move ahead 70 years from that date, it brings you to June 14th, 2016. Moving another seven months bring you to, brings you to January 14, 2017. And moving another seven days bring you, brings you to January 21st, 2017. Uh, I decided to fact check this and see if it's actually true because we're in the year 5777 right now. As you know, I've done some research on the uh, biblical timeline of Israel. Everything's landing on the sevens. Uh, there is a sign in the heavens in 2017 on the Feast of Trumpets, uh, which is the end of five sevens. And um, so I decided to see if this was interesting because there are some prophecies about Trump becoming the next president. And I'm very skeptical about prophecies that are not in the Bible. So, um, but I just figured, hey, I got a few minutes, I'm just going to fact check this. So, uh, the first thing I wanted to do was to check and make sure that I've got the start date correct. June 14th, 1946 is Trump's birthday. Um, and then the inauguration day would be, what is inauguration day 2017? It's Friday, January 20th. That is a Friday. The article said that it is... 777, seven, 70 years, seven months, and seven days to the 21st, which would be his first full day. So I decided to go to a date calculator and um, I'm going to put in his birthday, 1946, and then I'll head over here to the first day that he would actually be president. Remember, it's the 20th, that is inauguration day. Very important day. But the 21st is where they're making their calculations. This would be his first full day in, uh, in office. So I did this. So I've got, this is the start date. This is the end date. Uh, I do want to include the end date in the calculation because otherwise they wouldn't include that. Uh, and then calculate the duration. Turns out it's 70 years, seven months, and eight days, including the end date. So what does that tell me? That tells me that the article is uh, one day off in the way that they've decided to calculate. But if I actually go to inauguration day itself and calculate the day, include that day, and recalculate, 70 years, seven months, and seven days. I find that very interesting. But I also have just fact-checked this article, which was a day off. It's actually even more amazing. See, to me, I didn't think it was all that special that his first day in office. I, I would figure that the actual inauguration day, which is a huge deal, would be much more precise. And you know me, I'm all about the precision in these types of things or any kind of calculation. Um, so actually what I've found here seems to me even more important, making sure that the calculation is correct. It's actually inauguration day, the 20th, that it's 70 years, seven months, and seven days. Not just, it's not the first day of uh, a, a regular presidency. It's the actual inauguration day. His birthday to inauguration day has got the 777. I find that very interesting. Thought I'd bring it to your attention. So as Michael Snyder did, uh, I also want to do, and that is those of us who are watching these things, it is always good to give credit where credit is due. Michael Snyder actually says that um, these amazing coincidences were first pointed out on Facebook by a user named Allison Kelly. Uh, so that's where the credit goes for this. I, I'm just doing peer review and I thought I would share it in case you guys don't come across this. Um, don't know if president, the, uh, the president is going to be Trump, 
but um, there are some prophecies about him becoming president uh, around the internet, and I'm not really big into all these prophecies, and I'm looking at something else in 2017. Uh, personally, I think that is even more important. You couldn't make this stuff up. And I found that it's actually from his birthday to the, um, the inauguration day. 70 years, 7 months, 7 days old on that specific presidential inauguration day. Don't know what that means? God, he called me and he says, you're going to probably want to take a look at the numbers on this and the day that it lands on. If I actually go to Inauguration Day itself and calculate the day. Put this in perspective. This is Inauguration Day, the day he would lay his hand on the Bible and swear in as President of the United States. Just the odds that that number, three sevens, would be associated with the, the presidential inauguration day, and not for Hillary, but for Trump. And recalculate 70 years, seven months, and seven days. Um, that maybe that means that he's supposed to get in there, but I, I would imagine that this is already said and done after we get the video <laughs> and produced. And what's extra sort of fascinating about this, not only is this little video here going up right the weekend before the election, but on our Prophecy of Trump video, that it had pulled 700,000 views in seven days on October 7th. And that clock right there started from the moment after the upload when we approved it for public view. He would be, uh, on the day of uh, the presidential inauguration, the day he puts his hand on the Bible and goes through the oath of the presidency, he would be 70 years old and seven months and seven days. That would be his age. And it would actually happen in the Hebrew year of five, seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? I don't know. You don't see that every day. This shocking video is exclusive of Conspiratoth channel. All rights reserved. Warning. This video might shock you.
Now, let's compare the two videos. Don't forget to share this video. Conspiracy is not theory.